Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I have been on a weight loss slash fitness journey for about, I want to say six months and I have lost some weight and I'm not expecting anybody on here to really notice, but it's really become a quick passion for me, um, eating healthy and exercising and just living a general healthy lifestyle. So I thought I would incorporate something that's really important to me um, on my channel, just here and there. I don't know how often I will do um, fitness slash weight loss videos, but I really have been wanting to film this video for a long time and it is going to be seven hacks for weight loss. These are things that I do on a daily basis. I'm talking about like ritualistic. So it's like things that I do when I wake up, things when I do when I go to bed, and it's become so normal that it's like nothing. But I truly, truly, truly believe that doing these seven things are what has helped me lose the weight. So if you guys want a weight loss story and background from me, uh, let me know because I will definitely make that video if you would like. I just don't know if most of my audience would be like interested in that. Um, but if you are, I will totally film that because I just want to give you a little short story of me and how I grew up and how my body is. Um, so I'm 27 and I have two children. You know, I have things working against me. I'm also on the Depo Provera birth control shot, which I have heard that it makes people gain weight and get acne and all these bad things. The acne one is true. So yes, I heard that it was supposed to gain, um, make you gain weight. You know, after having children, your body is just not the same. Your hips are wider. Uh, you tend to retain more. It's, I'm just not a spring chicken anymore is really like the end of the story. I'm not young anymore. It's way harder for me to lose weight than say like a 20 year old. Not to say that I'm old, no. I, I joke around and say that I'm old, but in terms of life, I'm not old. But in concerns of body and having already had two children being 27, um, it, I am working against a few things. And also, all of my life, I have always been heavier set. I never was like skinny, like you know how some people say like, oh, like back when I was 18, I only weighed 110 pounds and blah, blah, blah. That was never me. Never. I was like a freshman. I was like 130, 140. And um, by senior, I was like maybe 150. And to me, 150 is skinny. That is my skinny. A lot of people don't think that's skinny, but I think that's pretty small. And um, in the beginning of my weight loss slash fitness journey, my goal was to get down to 165. Now, I've basically made my goal now, which is really awesome because I have lost a total of 40 pounds. Um, that's really like so amazing and it's so hard to do. And we as women, we get discouraged and we look at Instagram and we look at all these people and see all these foods that we're supposed to be eating but we don't want to be eating them. Um, and you just need to take small steps and it's not a torture. In the beginning of this journey, I was like, ew, I'm being tortured. I can't eat the things I want. This is how people have to live. Like you have to just eat foods that suck. Like how do people live like this? But that's not the case. Um, anyways, that's this is a whole, <laughs> a whole other story that I'm getting into and rambling on about but just to give you a little background I never was tiny it has always 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 been a lifetime struggle for me to lose weight and to be fit these things have helped me and I seriously seriously do them as rituals because I feel that if I don't do them that I won't keep losing weight and I won't keep my weight off these help me so much so this will help you in general if you're trying to shed a few pounds or just be healthier 
or if you are trying to lose extreme weight and you've always had a struggle with your metabolism, maybe you have a slow metabolism like me, um, this will definitely help boost your weight loss. So these are just a few tricks that I use to aid in my healthy lifestyle, but it does not replace healthy eating, healthy drinking, and healthy exercise. Remember that. All right, so let's get on to the hacks. Okay guys, so hack number one. This is so repetitive, I understand, but drink more water. I know every single person who has tips for weight loss, you click on it, and I'm sure that's their number one tip. But I'm serious, guys. It will change your life. It will change your life. Our bodies are mostly made up of water. If you don't give your body sufficient water, what happens? You're going to get wrinkles. You're going to have dry skin. Your organs are not going to function and flow the way they should. That is our oil. We are like a car. A car needs gas and oil to run. We need water and nutrients. It is very, very important. And um, I think I gave up you need to give up soda. <laughs> I'm sorry, you gotta give up soda, girl or guy. Soda cannot live in the same home as a healthy lifestyle. You can splurge on it maybe um, like on a cheat day, but um, I think I gave up soda like maybe like seven years ago. I just knew it was just crap and I didn't like the way it was starting to make my body feel. And literally a year later, without exercising, without changing my diet, I was young, literally just dropping soda out of my life. I, I kid you not, I lost 20 pounds in one year. I'm not playing, honest to God. So drink more water, and by that I mean, basically you're gonna be drinking a gallon of water a day. You can work up to it. You don't have to shock yourself. Don't do anything cold turkey. That is what is so important about changing your life to a healthy lifestyle, is if you do something cold turkey, you might, or you probably will just quit it easily because it was such a shock to your system. Um, so just start slowly. If you only drink two glasses of water a day, tell yourself, you know what, I'm gonna drink three glasses of water today. If you made that happen, if you need more time, do that for a couple days. And then if you feel like, you know what, I am more thirsty for water. Because trust me, the more water you drink, you actually will thirst for water more. You will crave water only more. I promise you. So then just bump it up to four cups of water. Say, today I'm doing four cups of water. By the end of next week, I'm going to be drinking six cups of water. And make sure you're keeping track of your ounces. I drink about seven to eight 16 ounce glasses of water a day and water is the only thing I drink besides coffee I don't drink juice I don't drink soda I don't drink like those lemonade mixer things those crystal lights those things are just not good you're just gonna be trading one addiction from soda to an addiction to that um, dextrose whatever that sh sugar is that's horrible for you the fake sugar just don't do it just just try to do water just say hey I'm only gonna if you have two cans of soda a day say I'm just gonna have one can of soda today and I'm gonna savor that and um, maybe next week you don't even have soda in the day and then you're drinking a gallon of water a day and you're like you know what I feel good I like it I don't need soda maybe you have soda when you go out to dinner with your friends or your family just as like a little cheat that's fine um, just try to always be what I do is like 85% healthy, good, clean, and then 15% I indulge. Because we're only human, we gotta indulge here and there in moderation. So tip number one, or hack number one, is to drink more water. And there is um, calculators online, and I can link one down below for you guys if you want to check it out. But you actually put in your body weight and your height, I think, and it'll tell you how many ounces your body needs a day. So I drink about a gallon. That's pretty much what my body needs a day, roughly. I think I, I think my body only needs like 110, but I just bump it up to a gallon because of the caffeine that I drink. And caffeine kind of cancels out some of your hydration. It's kind of dehydrating. So I just drink a little extra water since I do have like two cups of coffee a day.
And hack number two is kind of a spinoff of the first one. It is drink lemon water. Um, I drink lemon water and it helped me in the beginning when I was like getting rid of flavored drinks um, out of my diet because um, I really liked lemonade once upon a time and uh, lemon water was like my lemonade. Uh, there's no sugar, there's no nothing bad, literally just squeeze lemon into your water and um, it tastes really good but not only that, it is a natural detoxifying drink so lemon and water naturally detox your body so I like to drink lemon water a couple times a week um, if I know that I maybe had a, a cheap meal or if I ate not so good that day I will flush my system out with lemon water you know just drink water drink water drink water drink lemon water drink lemon water and like that is a detox a natural detox for your body it's just gonna flush out you know all the toxins all the crappy stuff that you ate maybe you had too much salt or too much fats bad fats and it's just gonna flush it out and the bathroom will be your best friend still is my best friend and I I plan on the bathroom being my best friend for probably the rest of my life but it's okay because it's totally worth it because as women we bloat we hold our water weight our bodies were designed to hold on to weight so you can look this more up in depth if you want to because I don't want to get into a huge story about it but um, men are not the same as us um, our bodies were meant to hold on to water and to hold on to weight so by drinking that gallon of water and by drinking the lemon water a couple of times a week you're gonna detox you're gonna you will pee a lot, but you know what? It's better than holding it because when you hold water weight, I mean, is it just me or can you not fit in your skinny jeans, right? It's like, you know, maybe the beginning of the week, your skinny jeans fit real nice and then at the end of the week, you're like struggling to get them buttoned and it's from the bloat. So you may think drinking a lot of water is gonna bloat you up, but it's actually not. It's gonna make you get rid of the excess liquids in your body. And hack number three is eat more spices. So spices like black pepper, cayenne pepper, um, paprika, onion powder, um, garlic powder, any of those things, oregano, just make sure it's not a salt, not garlic salt, not onion salt. Um, we need to keep it low sodium because sodium again will make you bloat So of course you can have sodium, but just keep it low and use more spices Spices actually are very good for your digestive system and they help everything in your Region run smoothly and they keep everything regular. So Spices are another thing that I do every single day uh, when I make eggs in the morning I put black pepper onion powder garlic powder, cayenne pepper, paprika, you name it. I put all the spices on there and it's really good because when you lower your salt intake you're missing a flavor you know. Um, so by putting all of those other flavors it helps it taste way better. And hack number four is actually a spin-off again of the spices and that's spicy food. Eat more spicy food. Now if you don't like spicy food this <coughs> It's gonna suck for you and of course you don't have to do it but I love spicy food thank God and I make every single meal I eat spicy I put loads of cayenne pepper and red pepper flakes and those are gonna not only help your digestive system run smoothly but it actually speeds up your metabolism and girl can use any of that that she can get because like I mentioned before I don't have the fastest metabolism so anything that can boost or speed my metabolism thumbs up so um, sometimes I use like tapatio that's a Mexican hot sauce or um, Frank's Red Hot but there is some sodium in there so just watch you know how much you intake of that but I do use the spices on every single meal of my day and I love it. Hack number five is eat coconut oil or drink coconut oil. So I think about one to two times a week I will take a teaspoon of coconut oil just straight from a spoon and ingest it. 
and um, that just helps uh, keep everything regular down there and that's just a huge part of weight loss like a huge part of your body running smoothly is making sure that you're regular if you know what I mean also a another added bonus of coconut oil is there has been some studies on eating a saturated fat in the morning to linking that to boosting your metabolism and I am NOT a doctor guys I am NOT a professional should have said that in the beginning but um, I truly believe that to be true um, I used to take it every single day in the morning and then I just felt like I actually wasn't getting regular um, so now I only take it about two times a week um, maybe one time a week and it just keeps everything running smoothly and I just truly believe that it's aided in my weight loss so that's what I do and you can look it up and research it more if you want and I'm sure you've seen plenty of other videos of people saying how amazing coconut oil is. Hack number six is going to be drink green tea. Um, when I watch a lot of these videos, I actually haven't seen green tea be mentioned a lot lately, but green tea is amazing. It is full of antioxidants, it will boost your metabolism, and it's detoxifying. Uh, just like the lemon water and water in general, that will just flush you out. The bathroom will be your best friend, I know, <laughs> but it is amazing. I tribute my, like, I guess the steady rate of my losing weight so, so, so much to green tea. Green tea is a savior. I mean, sometimes I've had days, more in the beginning, when it was harder for me to change into the healthy lifestyle. I had a day where I binged and I felt so guilty and I felt so disgusting. And I was like, God, I'm gonna gain five pounds. Like when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna look on the scale and I'm gonna lose all my progress. Girl, I drank like four cups of green tea. Seems excessive, I know. I drank four cups of green tea and then I maintained my weight after all the crap that I ate. I mean like I ate hot Cheetos, I ate calzones, like I don't even know what else, but like it just didn't, it just helps Oh, like I can't even explain it like I don't know all the scientific reasons of it I just know that it's full of antioxidants and it's detoxifying and it is metabolism boosting and seriously if I mess up um, I always make sure to drink extra green tea because I do drink green tea every single day like every single day of my life I don't drink it throughout the day I drink water throughout the day but I drink my green tea at night um, that's just me. You can drink yours in the daytime. I know a lot of people don't want to be waking up in the middle of the night to pee. <laughs> I'm just used to it. Um, but yeah, I drink mine at night and I just feel like it just helps me flush everything out. And then I wake up in the morning refreshed and I wake up and I look at the scale and I'm like, hell yeah. Like, I got all that water weight out while I was sleeping because I kept getting up to pee. And also, the more you get up, the more calories you're burning. See? So green tea is just literally amazing for weight loss. It is just a staple. And if there's one thing, no, there's two things you take from this video. One is drinking more water, but two would definitely be drink green tea. Um, it is hard to get used to. Do not put sugar in it. Don't put lemonade in it, just straight green tea. It's hard to get used to. I hated the taste at first, but honestly now it's whatever. And now, I mean like the fact that I know that it helped me lo lose weight, I don't care what it tastes like, I'm gonna drink it because it helps me and it's very hard for me to lose weight. And I've lost 40 pounds in six months and that is amazing. And if it wasn't for all this stuff, honestly, I don't think it would have happened. So the last hack that I have for you guys is hack number seven, and that is going to be taking a multivitamin and also taking a B12 vitamin. So obviously multivitamins, we all know what they're good for, not going to go into it, um, but B12 vitamins, I stand by. So I actually, my ritual, my nighttime ritual is... Um, when, right when I'm about to go to bed, I actually have a glass of green tea, 
or mug of green tea with two tea bags and then I take my B12 vitamin and I finish that and that is I take that at night um, yeah but it's a metabolism support pill that's what B12 is for so everything that you're eating in the day it just ensures that your body is turning that into energy instead of turning that into like stored fat so it just helps everything run smoother you know my body be getting confused sometimes and be storing fat when it's not supposed to be <laughs> so that is the last tip i take a b12 vitamin and all of these seven things i truly truly uh stand by and i do these things every single day or every single week and i literally have been doing this for six months so I will not stop doing them because in the past six months, like I said a million times, I lost 40 pounds. So why would I stop doing these things? It has to be these things that I'm doing that are helping me stay steady on my weight loss because I have been on many, many a diet, tried to lose weight so many times in my life. It never worked out. I gave up. It never worked out. I never saw results. And when you don't see results, you get discouraged and you give up. But I truly, truly believe in these hacks and these tips. And I really encourage you to give them a try if you're looking to boost your metabolism or you're stuck in a plateau. Um, or if you're just trying to get a little healthier and help your body and your organs run a little smoother. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you want me to do any more healthy fitness whatever videos let me know and uh thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next one